So today I'm installing the Tamarack solar panel mount and uh, the mount that I bought is for two panels. I laid out the hardware and these are the components and I leave a link in the description for you. Uh, this is considered an economical version. This particular one is meant for two solar panels and in the background you can see my two LG 380 panels sitting there. So the instructions are pretty good and it says to position the main mount on top of the post. Okay. Uh, this is a four inch schedule 40 pipe and the next step is to put the horizontal three inch pipe on top of the main mount. So let me break in here real quick. You are probably wondering where these steel pipes are coming from. And of course you have to purchase those yourself. And you need a four inch schedule 40 pipe for the main post. And then you need a three inch schedule 40 pipe as a cross member. And what I do here, you can see me well shut the ends uh, with some end caps. So um, it just looks a little bit cleaner that way. So here's everything lined up. These are my cross, uh, three inch cross poles that hold the solar panels. And this is my four inch uh, main tube that holds the uh, solar mount. They're ready to paint. So, and then of course you want to paint these and uh, here you can see me use uh, epoxy primer to put down onto the bare steel for corrosion protection. It's a two component epoxy primer. It's a professional uh, paint. And it has good adhesion to steel. And here you see me put the first coat of black uh, two component urethane uh, top coat on it in low gloss black. It looks glossy when you paint it at first, but in the end it, it dies down and it has like a semi-gloss finish, which I, I think you know looks pretty good. So this is what they look like, freshly painted. So I got the crossbar on top of the mount and it's an 86 inch pole. So I marked the center line of this pole and I lined it up uh, with the center of this post. A couple of U-clamps. Let me get those installed. So I turned the clamp around. I think it looks a little bit better with the fasteners in the back. And it says not to tighten this cap yet, uh, although I'm going to tighten it anyway, because I think now is the time to align my angle to the solar window that I have, because I don't have full sun exposure. I only have a window of about maybe three hours right here, so I'm gonna adjust that right now. So I verified the center line one more time for the center bracket and made sure that it is horizontal. And now I'm installing the end brackets and make sure they are perfectly horizontal as well. So the end bracket is installed. Also horizontal. The only thing left to do is put the other end bracket on it. I've still got to tighten it and align it. And then the panels should fit right on top of these. Okay, so first panel is on. It's a little dirty from transporting, but this is what it looks like. So it's a 60 cell panel. So this will be the center line of the panel. So I'm just lining that up with the center line of the pole. And I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty good. So here at the bottom, there's, uh, a cap that goes on top of the center bracket here, but I need the other panel on it first. And then the sides, there are brackets that slide over. I'll show you what that looks like. So again, I'm by myself. So, but I managed to get both panels on here. Oh, they fit perfectly. And right now I'm just gonna tie them down. So the center piece has this bracket drops in. And if you have monkey arms like me, you can actually reach it. 
So on the outer sides here you get these brackets and they are bent on one end. So slide them in as far as they go and then you just have fasteners at the bottom. Pretty straightforward. So you can tighten these down fairly tight because they are really just pinching the side of the frame. I like it. This is a pretty slick solution. So panels are mounted and the last thing to do is adjust the angle. So at this point I just loosen these brackets here for the pipe and I should be able to just tilt these guys to whatever pan. Oh yeah, look at this. Nice. Man, these panels look good. Let me see what's going on here, so... It needs a higher angle. Uh, I'm not too scientific about it. I, I don't adjust my panels summer to winter time and uh, they have served me very well. I'm just going to measure what this guy is and then uh, use the same angle on these panels. So as far as the angle goes, I'm 41 degrees north of the equator, so I'm just going to adjust these panels to about 40 degrees. Uh, that's what my other panels are, and it, I don't really adjust them summer to winter. So panels are mounted and adjusted. That's what that looks like. I got to clean them up a little bit better. And I really like this Tamarack mount. I think it's a solid solution and it's somewhat affordable compared to their other options. They call this the economical version. Uh, jam nuts on most of the items here and I think it's pretty solid. So the last thing to do is to run the electrical. I got some MC4 extensions and I'm going to run these in series. So positive goes to negative. And then this is going to be on my main positive, this is going to be on my main negative. These guys are going to run down and into the bottom of this electrical box right here. It's already prepared for it. So let's get that done. So solar panels are all hooked up. And I'm currently charging with 700 watts. So this is what it looks like from the back. So you connect one positive from one panel to the negative of the next panel, right? So they're in series and then you have to extend, you know, the wires out and run them into your electrical box. All right, that's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys on the next one.